everybody and welcome back to another video today i'm going to show you how can you install shaders onto minecraft it's pretty easy and it's not that hard so first of all you need to install something called a version called optifine okay now optifine needs to be installed it's a separate version that you need to play on so you can play uh, so you can hop on and play with and shaders and have shaders onto your uh, minecraft so basically you're going to go onto your um uh, you're going to search for optifine download and then you're going to go show all versions and you're going to use whatever version you're using um i'm going to use the 1.19.3 1. okay now once you downloaded uh, optifine you're going to click up download you're going to go onto any uh, shaders you want to install for me and for my i'm going to download apollo rt shaders and now you need to make sure all the requirements are here so i'm going to download optifine and iris shader mods i'm going to download this and i'm going to download the mod and then i'll meet you there now once you installed your uh, shaders now as you can see the shaders are going to be onto a winvar file so basically you're not going to go as the same process as open with and other um and then you're going to choose another app and go into java you're not going to be able to find it because this is not a dot jr file this is a dot zip file uh, normally so we're going to click on extract to apollo shaders apollo rt shaders all versions now once you do this you're going to meet with this profile with this um with this uh, folder. Now you're going to cut this folder and then you're going to click on Windows R and then add percentage app data percentage and click enter. And once you click enter, you're going to click on dot Minecraft. And from dot Minecraft, you're going to go something called shaders pack. And once you click on shaders pack, you're going to put any shaders you want to do. Now, um, when we have Optifine, as I said, we're going to be able, we need to download Optifine. So how we download Optifine, as you can see here, I have my Optifine over here. So we're going to download it, okay, um, we're going to click and then we're going to click on install. It's going to download the Optifine. Then we're going to open uh, Minecraft, and then when we click open uh, Minecraft, you need to, st to click to use Optifine version. Once you click on Optifine and click play, we're going to launch up uh, Minecraft and I'll meet you there. Now once in your Minecraft, you're going to go onto any world that we have, okay. Um, and then from inside of uh, Minecraft, we're going to be able to um, activate the shaders. And then just play all, all around the shaders. As you can see, I'm now without any shaders. I'm going to click on escape. And then options. Let me just make this peaceful. Okay. And then after that, we're going to click on video settings. Now, um, if you want to know if Optifine worked or not, you need to make sure Optifine is over here. Optifine HD1 i3 Ultra. It's pretty easy. and It's pretty easy. And so it's going to work. Now, once you're in uh, settings, you're going to click on shaders. And then as you can see, uh, as you can see, Apollo RT shaders, all versions over here. Now we're going to click on Apollo RT shaders, and then after we click on it, it's going to load a little bit. Then when it loads, uh, now we have our um, our shaders working. You can now actually have all these settings you can do um, on shaders, and there's a shader on other additional shaders options that you can actually do. And as you can see, if I go back, there's my shaders. My shaders are um, working. Uh, that's just as fine. I'll sh everything. Um, if I just get water, actually, just to show you. Um, that it's um, everything is working. Um, it's going to show you that Isaac, as you can see, shaders are now working. And then, of course, uh, just because my PC is not the best, so I can't download the best shaders ever. So this is just a budget like a shader that I do really recommend. It's really nice. It just makes your game look really nice. And yeah, that was basically how you can install any shaders on uh, Minecraft. So yeah, so yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, uh, like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you later.